Hello, my dear. I see moving for better balanced participants. And I want to thank you for the joy that you give me by asking for a recording like this, a recording that will assist you in practicing this eight form Tai Chi moving for better balance at home. So this is not a teaching part of it. This is um, a detail so that you can refer to it if you're doing Tai Chi at home and you get to a point in the form where you aren't exactly sure what you should be doing. Hopefully this first part will give you a lot of detail and you'll be able to find that little part that you want to smooth over to flow through and then when we're done with this we're going to do the eight forms with minimal prompts and then with no prompts at all just silently flowing with the music so i want to remind you that in class we talked about how tai chi is like a smile in a photo so you can see a pose smile. A person has directed their face to go a certain way and they smile. We can tell that that isn't a real smile because a real smile comes from inside and blooms out in the physical. And that's just the way it is with our Tai Chi. So learning the choreography of our Tai Chi this is learning where we want to direct our muscles and our body to go into the forms, into the positions and postures and movements. But really, we want to eventually get to condition ourselves so that those movements become automatic and we can focus on blooming from the inside, bringing it up and out. And what a great feeling that is, a real smile. So we're going to start now by opening the Tai Chi complementary forces. So as we open, we're opening our awareness. We're opening our awareness, everything in the room around us. And like when you're driving a car, your awareness is directed forward, but you can see, you can take in with your peripheral vision, the kid on the skateboard, the ball rolling into the street, the markers for your lane, the red light ahead. You can take in all of that without specifically looking at each detail because you've opened your awareness to let it all in. And what about awareness to the room behind you? Anyone who's ever had a toddler or a pet in the room behind them and heard crunch, you know that something is going on back there. So with opening our awareness to what we can see and what we can hear, we're opening all of our senses to it. The external complementary forces, external and then internal. So let's first look at the external at uprightness. Uprightness taking that eight to twelve pound head my little Tai Chi dog, 15 years old. We don't want that head to be off the vertical because the laws of physics will cause us to follow through. So upright and complementary opposing forces. So we lift through the top of the head just as the same as we think through our reading, heaven and earth. So we want that uprightness. And once we're upright, lifting and sinking, then we can move to 
alignment, aligning, bringing our ears back, our chin tucked, tongue to the roof of the mouth and an L sound. I love this Tai Chi. Lifting and sinking, aligning and releasing tension, shoulders, feeling that release all the way through the arms. Shoulders and their partners are hips, loose, elbows, unlock, knees, unlock, wrists, relax, ankles, relax. And now we can feel as we breathe in. As we breathe out. And now as we go inside, we can listen to the song of the breath of life, the music of our breathing. Boom. Filling and emptying. And at the end of the empty, see if you can feel that place of stillness inside. And then begin filling again. And a smile is almost automatic. You feel your ribs widening as if you could send out those little rills in a pool of water. We're sending out the rills in a pool of energy as we pulse with life. And then you mother that energy in as we compress. Back in our awareness, align, release, relax without collapsing. And now we're going to shift our weight to the right. I'm mirroring. And we've sunk right to hip, in as if we backed up to a little low wall and kind of taken a little bit of a load off. Just a little bit. The knees not going beyond the toes. Just that little hinging and still upright. Lifting and sinking. Now we'll shift our weight to the right and feel up that left heel and you probably will even sink a little bit more so that that leg is really hollow and you can pick up the foot and take a small step parallel touching down rolling down letting the heel connect keeping the weight on that right leg and feeling we're not stepping into a position, but to a condition, stability. You feel that. And now we center our weight. Knees forward and apart. No rolling in. Arms relax. Three. Smiling. And now we do the opening. The back of the wrist floating out and up. Wall high, shoulder height. And then in and down, making that pretty arc. In and down. The heels of the hand, like fixing on a helium balloon, just gently. Until you have hands at the hip height. We say hands on the table. Feel them. And, shift. and when we shift, the whole body moves to the unit. So shift to the right, the arms begin to move forward. And now we turn at the waist. The wrists turn as well. 
and we create the outside of half of a ball. And we gather that ball, bringing it in, holding the ball. Form one, hold the ball. Look left, heel up. Yeah. Touch, roll down. Yeah. Arms and legs, everything moving out. Turn at the waist. The hands are now changing polarity. Now the right hand is low and the left hand is high. And we release that waist turn to float it back. Our weight is on our left leg. We're in the neutral holding the ball position. If you penguin centering your weight, now in order to step in, you're going to have to shift your weight back. And that's why they call it penguin. And we're going to try to avoid that. But if you find that you've done it, just adjust, heel up, step in, touch down, roll down, look to the right, heel up, step. Roll down, shift. Look at how the hands ride that sagittal midline barrier. And the palms are now going like to the equator. And as you turn at the waist, now north and south pole. And where are they? They are right in front of that midline. But since I've turned at the waist, it looks like they're off to the side. And now I release the waist, the elbows relax, the ball comes towards the front, my weight is all on my right leg, and I peel up the left and step in. Roll down. Parting the wild horse's mane. We look, yep, that's the corner I'm going to step to. We peel up, we're going to reach with the heel of that left foot. Reaching, touching down, wider rather than farther. And as the toe comes down, you might feel yourself wanting to sink a little, and that's good. And now we shift, and the whole body moves. Knees, elbows, the hands move up and down the sagittal plane. One coming up and out, one coming down. And we turn at the waist. Let's take a closer look at that. Step to the back. Turn to the front. Shift to the front. Feel the stability. And step up. Look to the right. Step, heel, toe, sink. And look how this upper hand goes down the mane of the horse's neck, across the horse's back, over that rump, and out. And the other hand comes up and out like offering Mr. Sugar, along with that waist turn. And then we shift back. Elbow drop, toe comes up, the whole body. Pivot, turning to the front. Look at how the hands, palms are parallel, facing each other. And we shift our weight to the front. And now we bring the hands back to holding the ball. Heels are still on the earth. And peel up and step in. Single whip. If the wrist moves, the ankle moves. So we're going to drop that hook and lift that heel. And now the elbow is going to extend. And if the elbow moves, the knee moves. And this arm is kind of pinned in space. But now what's happened to our hips? Instead of being forward, they're at about 45 degrees. So now if I step out 45, well, that's going to make it like 90. So for most of us, when we're starting out, 
you're just going to want to step at 45. Put that toe down. And as you step, the lower hand comes right up that midline, right up the sagittal plane. And you turn up the waist, it rotates. Rotates the hand that reaches the full expression. And you just make sure that that knee hasn't gone beyond the toes, that your back leg hasn't rolled in. Full expression, single whip. And release. Elbows drop. Everything softens. Toe comes up. The body pivots to the front. Shift to that front leg. Hands return to holding that ball of energy. Pick up that heel and step in. Wrist and ankle, elbow and knee. Now I'll step out at the full 90 because you're going to see something different with the other leg. So we step out at 90, put the toe down. As we shift and that lower hand comes up the midline and we turn, that back leg has to turn too. It has to turn the foot so it's at 45 as we touch the full expression. And release, coming back, shift, Turn, shift, and step in. Waving hands like clouds. Three steps to the left, three to the right. Take a breath. This one is so joyful to feel the flow, like sliding doors as we move across the room. Let's do that together. Look, step, heel first, parallel, toe forward, toe down, shift. Riding that sagittal plane, turn at the waist, release the waist to come back. Step in, shift, turn. Release. Yes. Um, whoa, the flow of it. Yes. Yes. Turn. And the third one. Yes. Turn. And step in. And now to the right. Yes. Yes. Turn. Release. Step. Yes. Turn. Yes. Turn. Yes. Yes. Turn. And. Yes. Turn. Stop here for a moment. How is the body alignment? Does this move back so it's not extended beyond your toes? Is this knee rolled in? Just adjust. Just adjust. And sit down. Moving hands like clouds. And now we pulse the monkey. Ah, oh, the retreating step. Beautiful. Look to the back. Look down. Not like you'd look at the tires of your car, but like you check the lane next to you before you edge over into the Costco parking lot. See you up. Step out and back. As that heel comes down, everything goes in the movement. Shifting, even the head comes back to the front. And now we turn at the waist, arms extending, palms lifted to the sky, and release. Toe comes up in the front. We come back to the neutral, holding the ball position, and step in. Take that. I looked at my dog. 
step back. Yes. Turn. Resting the knee. Oh, it's so beautiful. Heel up. We're going to step to that corner, reaching with the heel. Wider than farther. Still have a big ball of energy. Everything should be soft. Go down as we sink. Knees. Yep. Doing good. And now we shift. That lower hand smooth forward toward the knee, and the upper hand just flexes right at the sagittal plane. And now when we turn at the waist, turn and extend. The lower hand hasn't moved, only the body is moving it. The upper hand reaches out right in line with the sagittal plane. And now we release. Shifting to the back, the toe comes up. We pivot to the front. Shift to the front and step in. Pressing the knee. Look. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Turn. Step. Step. Fair lady working the shuttle. It's like watching a plant grow. Heel up. Step with the heel, reaching, touching down, sinking. And now that lower hand is going to be on the outside, fingertips looking toward the sun, coming up. And as they pass, we can now turn at the waist and that front hand rotates out. It's that little plant seeking the sun. The other hand coming directly out to the sagittal plane. And let's check our knees. Make sure nobody's rolled in. And then release. And the upper hand stays high as we turn to the front. Shift to the front. And step in. And to the right. Step. Shift. Beautiful turn. Touch the full expression. Release as you shift back. Turn to the front. Shift to the front. Holding the ball of energy and step in. Grasping the peacock's tail. Look. Step. Reaching with our heel. Sinking down, warding off. That lower hand comes up. And look at what a beautiful curved barrier it makes. Now the descending hand goes right at the hip and stays pinned to that place in space. The upper hand, it moves with the body. So as we turn at the waist, that arm moves only with the body. And now we turn, we bring that lower hand up to grasp the ball of energy. And now we redirect. Let it sweep down as we shift. And when we come to where this hand is at, the sagittal plane, we have only one thing to do. We have to turn at the waist to bring it up. And now we're ready to press, bringing that back hand across coming closer and closer to the palm of the other hand. And when they get right here, at that midline, at that sagittal plane barrier, now the only place that they can go is forward. And so we turn at the waist and press forward. And release. Thinking back, shifting back, and getting ready to shift forward for the push. And release, shift, turn, shift, shift. Look, shift, 
here. Turn. Shift. Turn. Shift. Turn. Shift. 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 Turn. Shift. Step in, shoulder width. Center your weight, bringing your left wrist up across your right. Are you holding light? Hugging a tree. Big. Beautiful. Containing all this amazing energy. Sending good stuff out into the world. You know this. In and down. Hands on the table. Yes. Heel up. Step in. Roll down. Center. And your knees are still bent, right? From all along. Getting such a workout. And so now we create our eight form. So let's do the eight forms in flow. Take a moment. Savor the beautiful music of the breath of life. Feel from the inside out. Like the smile. Our Tai Chi starts from the inside and blooms out. Shift our weight. Do you notice how that knee goes forward so that the other one can lift up and take a small step out, touch down, roll down, center your weight. And here we go, the eight forms opening, open out, in and down. Sitting on the step. Just gather the ball and turn. Holding the ball. Step. Shift. Turn. Step. Step. Shift. Turn. Step. Parting the wild horse's mane. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Turn. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Turn. Step. Turn. Step. One step. Single whip. Turn. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Turn. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Step. Turn. Step. Turn, shift, step, waving hands like clouds, step, shift, turn, step, shift, turn, step, shift, turn, step. Yeah. Turn. Yep. Yep. Turn. Yep. To the right. Yep. Yep. Turn. 
ね。で、うん。で、で、うん。で、で、うん。One more time with some of the familiar music, that beautiful online bamboo flute. No prompt. Align your body, calm your mind. Ease your breathing and stepping out.
Congratulations. Thank you so much for wanting this video, for wanting to practice at home. You fill our hearts when you request this kind of thing. We appreciate it. I hope this is useful to you, and I will send it out today. Thank you.